All right, well, that was the 94th Academy Awards ceremony. It's been a long award season, so I'm going to keep this reaction video pretty short and just talk about some of the main categories and the surprises that occurred. So on Gold Derby, I got 20 out of 23 correct. The three that I missed were animated shorts, production design, and original screenplay. For the longest time, I was going back and forth between Belfast and Licorice Pizza. I thought that they would award Anderson his first Oscar, and then I decided at the last minute on Gold Derby to switch to Don't Look Up. I thought that that might be a surprise win, but it ended up going to Belfast, so that was a surprise. And then production design, I don't know why I was such a holdout for Nightmare Alley. I should have just been safe and predicted Dune because that ended up winning. I don't know why I was so convinced that Nightmare Alley would win, but it didn't. Dune won there. Dune was the big winner of the night with six Oscars total. That pretty much swept the technical categories. In the acting categories, uh, the four winners at SAG won at the Oscars, Will Smith, Jessica Chastain, Ariana DeBose, and Troy Kotzer. And I especially love Troy Kotzer's speech. It was fantastic. Jessica Chastain, I was predicting her to the end. I know a lot of people were thinking that Penelope Cruz could take it in a last minute surge. I was never really feeling that. I mean, I thought like, well, maybe it could happen, but I, it was never enough to switch over to Penelope. I was always feeling this was Jessica's time, such a transformative performance in the eyes of Tammy Faye. So I went with Jessica and it was just really exciting to see her finally win her first Oscar after so many terrific performances over the last decade. That was fantastic to see. Will Smith, maybe I'll talk about that later. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, let, let, let me be just totally honest. I thought the ceremony itself was disjointed and rushed and really strange at times. Dancers during the in memoriam, the anniversary reunions never really hit for me. The only one I thought that worked okay was the Pulp Fiction one, but the other ones felt kind of underwhelming. Even the Godfather, which I was excited about, like having De Niro seems strange since he's not in the original he's in the second one i don't know so and i didn't think it, like the jokes didn't really land and then there was that incident with will smith and chris rock which i won't go into i'm sure that's all you're going to hear about for a while but that really bothered me and took me out of the show f like for a good 30 40 minutes it was hard for me to focus i was just like what just happened i've never seen anything like that in the history of the academy awards so I, I'm sure more about that will come out in the days and weeks to come. It was not a pretty sight, and it basically overshadowed the entire ceremony. So <laughs> I'm just like, okay, very weird show. Definitely memorable now. I mean, people will be talking about that incident at the ceremony for a long time. Uh, let's see, anything else about the ceremony? I mean... I was kind of hoping for like one big shocker surprise in one of the top six categories. I mean, I guess you could say that Coda was kind of a surprise for Picture since Power of the Dog for many was the front runner to win Picture for the longest time, but Coda did win at PGA and it won at WGA, it won at SAG. It just felt like it was going to happen. On Gold Derby, just a day before the ceremony, I switched from Power of the Dog to Coda in my prediction videos, I did go with Power of the Dog. It just seemed like it has 12 nominations versus Coda, which has three. It just seemed like that, there's no way. Coda's gonna win this with three? And it did. Coda won Best Picture without an editing nomination, without a directing nomination. I mean, it just, it's pretty crazy. Just the surge that happened with Coda these last few weeks. But it just, going into the night, I was like, yep, yeah, I think Coda's gonna win Picture. I don't think, Power, I think Power of the Dog was hot in January, February, and then Coda took over after SAG, and there was no looking back, really. Probably my favorite speech of the night was Troy Kotzer. I've loved all his speeches. I loved his speech at SAG. I thought his speech uh, was terrific and was the only moment of the ceremony that brought tears to my eyes. I just really loved what he had to say and the importance of that moment of his win. I just thought was really great. But yeah, overall, the show didn't feel right. It felt very rushed, and yet it still came in at like three hours and 40 minutes. 
Having some of the winners announced in the hour prior to the start of the show, that always felt awkward to me. I didn't like that. It didn't seem to really benefit the show at all. It didn't seem to help with the running time that much since the show did go long. So I don't know. I'm hoping that they do away with that next time. There was just something kind of impersonal about the ceremony. It didn't feel like the Oscars that I know and that I love from years and decades past. I'm hoping that they learn from their mistakes and that they can produce a better show next year for the 95th Academy Awards. But I wanted to end here by just saying thank you for coming along this journey with me during this awards season. I'm really excited now to go back for many videos to come and talk about Oscar history and also start a new series looking forward about the next Academy Awards in 2023. It's been a huge thrill for me to make these videos about the Oscars. I love the Oscars, was not a huge fan of this particular ceremony. Some things were okay, but uh, regardless, these Academy Awards mean a lot to me, have always meant a lot to me, and I thank you sincerely for coming along this journey with me. I'll see you next time.